Hey Geeks, Josh here, and today we're gonna go over how to update the BIOS with your MSI motherboard using two different methods, both the in-flash method and the flash BIOS button method. Depending on your situation, you might wanna choose one or the other. In general, the in-flash is super easy because all you have to do is access your BIOS to do the update. This method is gonna work best for people who've already made their PC, they already have it up and running, and you simply want to update your BIOS to get the latest features, or maybe because you're planning on upgrading to a 5000 series CPU from AMD, and you wanna make sure that you're able to access that CPU when you install it. Now, if you're building a computer for the first time and you have that 5000 series CPU, you might wanna use the second method because it's gonna let you update the BIOS without any components in installed, you don't have to boot your computer, you simply load the file onto the USB drive and you can flash the BIOS with just a button press. This video is going to focus on the X570 series of motherboards from MSI, but it's probably a similar process for the B550 chipset and a few other versions as well, but be sure to check the instructions for your particular motherboard to make sure that they are indeed the same. Now, let's jump into the first method. To get started with either process, you're going to want to go to the MSI website and download the BIOS file. So let's navigate to the MSI website. In my case, I'm in the United States, so it's us.msi. Com. We're going to go to slash motherboards to look at the list of all the motherboards they have available. When I scroll down, I can look at the AMD X570 chipset specifically, which is the board uh, series that I have. Specifically, I have the MPG X570 Gaming Pro Carbon Wi-Fi. No jokes about the low quality motherboard option here. Uh, it was hard to get stuff back in December when I picked it up and you know what, I got what I got and it's been working out pretty well for me so far. But I need to upgrade my system to the uh, 5950X. Right now I'm using the 3950X. So to make that upgrade happen, I need to make sure that my BIOS is up to date with the latest version so that it will be able to detect that 5000 series CPU. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this particular motherboard that I already have installed in my computer. It's gonna bring me to the overview page, but I'm gonna go over here to the support tab and it's gonna bring me straight to uh, all of the drivers and files that I would need to update the motherboard. First option here is the BIOS. Now these are gonna be in release order date, so the newest one will be on the top. In this case, you can see that it's January 27th, 2021, and this is gonna to update to Combo AM4 PIV2 1.2.0.0, and um, you know it's always gonna give you a little bit of information about what this BIOS update will include. In this particular case, I just need to make sure it's up to date to the latest so that I can get that 5000 series CPU installed. You're gonna to wanna to download that file, it's pretty small. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to see that it's a zip file. You're going to want to right click on that and go ahead and click extract all. I've already done that. So you can see I have the other folder right here that has those extracted files right here in the folder. You can see that I have a text document and I have a .1b0 file. Now that the .1b0 file is the actual BIOS file that you need, but don't pay too much attention about the extension, the .1b0, because actually the reason uh, it has that is because that's the BIOS version. So just make sure that you have those two files in there, uh, probably about 30 megabytes on the BIOS size. And once you have those there, we can take it to the next step. Now for the next step, we're gonna need to have a blank USB stick and we need to make sure that that stick is formatted into the FAT32 file system. Uh, if you have an extra USB stick lying around, I would actually suggest using potentially an older one. It doesn't matter too much, but I've heard some issues of the brand new uh, USB 3.0 drives causing some issues. So if you have an old janky USB drive sitting around, that's probably your best bet. Um, what we're gonna wanna do in this particular case is go ahead and format it to make sure that it is indeed in the correct file system um, and just to make sure that it's all set and ready to go. So I'm gonna right click that in the file explorer. I'm gonna click format. I'm gonna make sure that this is set to FAT32 file system, that's the default. Don't worry about the capacity, don't worry about the allocation unit size. I went ahead and named mine BIOS update just for a little bit of clarity there when I go back to look at it. And then I have the quick format selected. It doesn't matter, you can do the regular format. I've already selected quick format. I'm gonna go ahead and select start. It's gonna give you a warning that it's gonna format and erase everything. That's what we want it to do. We're gonna go ahead and click OK. 
Give it just a few seconds and it'll be complete and you'll have a brand spanking new USB drive that you can use for the next step. Now we're gonna go back to the folder that we extracted our BIOS out into and we're gonna take both of those files and go ahead and drag them over into the USB stick. Give it a second to move over and then you'll have the files on the USB that you need. From this point, all we need to do is restart our computer. Go ahead and start tapping that delete button, not backspace, tap that delete button to get it loaded up into the BIOS and we'll take it from there with the mFlash method directly built into the BIOS. All right, you can see here that I've loaded into the BIOS, by the way, to make sure that you get into the BIOS, just restart your computer and just start tapping the delete button, not backspace, delete on your keyboard and just keep tap, tap, tapping it until it actually opens up into the BIOS. You may see this screen here. You may see the easy mode option, which looks like this right here. I'm actually gonna leave it in easy mode because what we wanna do is go down to the use USB to flash BIOS M flash. We're gonna click on that and it's going to enter flash mode. You're gonna click yes. All right, just wait a little bit and it'll pop up to the next screen. All right, you'll see that now it's loaded up into the flash mode, which is a stripped down uh, version of the BIOS. And you can see here that it's immediately giving me the option to look at the USB flash drive that I have installed here. You can see the Lexar USB flash drive and it's automatically gonna actually see this file here, the BIOS file. Um, which is the only thing in the drive. If you had other stuff on the drive, you may run into issues. Make sure you can see here that I, uh, my current BIOS version is version 1.80 and the selected BIOS that I have here, this file is version 1.B0, uh, showing that it will actually be an updated version. You can see here that the dates on the build are different. So let's select this file here. Go ahead and select yes. And it's going to give you a notice that the BIOS is updating. Do not shut down your computer. Do not restart your system. Don't do anything. Make sure nobody trips over the power cord, okay? Nothing. This is actually pretty serious. If you interrupt the BIOS installation process, you can actually break your motherboard and have serious, serious issues. Um, you know, sometimes you can get it back with the flash button or something like that but you don't wanna run the risk. This is just a situation where you wanna make sure that you're ready to go before you hit that button. And it's gonna tell you here, just make sure, you know, it's telling you the mouse is locked, the keyboard's locked, anything that you could actually accidentally, you know, turn your computer off with, it's going to uh, disable. So let's let this process finish up and I'll fast forward the video. All right, so that process took several minutes to complete. You can see that the computer is automatically rebooting now back into the BIOS. If you give it just a second, you'll see it load up. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in to the BIOS settings as well to make sure that we can double check it. And if you go here to the information on the BIOS, you'll see BIOS version E7B93AMS.1B0, that is the file that we put onto our drive, and that is the BIOS version right here. You can see that everything is up to date. We'll go ahead and boot back up into the desktop, and I'll show you the second option. Did that method work for you? Are you enjoying the video so far? Be sure to drop a like and let us know in the comments that it worked for you so you can help out the rest of the community. If you wanna check out the next option with the flash button because you're doing a new system build, we'll go ahead and jump into that right now. All right, so let's get back into our file folders and now what we're gonna do is go back into our USB drive that we had before, but we're gonna make a quick change to this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and find this BIOS file and we're going to click into it and we're going to rename it to MSI period and we're gonna rename it to msi.rom. So you're gonna have msi.rom. You're gonna hit enter to save that. It's gonna tell you that this file extension might become unusable. That's fine, we want it to be this. We're gonna go ahead and hit yes. And you can see now that we have an msi.rom file. It's listed as a rom file under type. 
From this point, we're going to turn off the computer and we're gonna plug this USB stick into the specific USB port labeled on our motherboard that will say flash BIOS button, okay? It's gonna have flash BIOS, it's gonna have the flash BIOS button there. In my particular case, it's ringed in red. You might wanna check your motherboard manual to make sure that you've got the right one, but it should be pretty obvious if you have your IO shield on your motherboard and you're looking at it from the back of the case. Let's go ahead and take a look at what mine looks like. All right, so getting here to the back of my system, I'm gonna come into the side and show you the exact port that I have on mine. You can see here that it does say uh, flash BIOS on this USB port. It might be a little hard to read, but you can see it here. It has a red border around it and it says flash BIOS. Directly above it, you're gonna see the flash BIOS button labeled. It's kind of an inset button so that you can't easily push it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the computer completely and we're gonna plug this USB drive into the port. All right, so we're gonna plug this USB drive in. First try, no problem. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and press that button. Now, again, it, your computer needs to be connected to the power, but don't turn it on. The computer should be off. Once it's off and you have the USB plugged in, you're gonna go ahead and so you're gonna press in that uh, flash BIOS button. Just give it a press. You should hear your computer actually turn off completely and then sort of boot up. So you're gonna see that it does turn back on. You see a little light inside the button as well, if you can see that in there. There's a, uh, there's a flashing red light and that is indicating that the BIOS is currently being updated. Now this process will take again several, several minutes um, and then you wanna make sure that that flash is completely done. At the very end of it, uh, your computer will kind of turn off just a second and then turn back on again. So that's a good indication, but you wanna wait for that light to stop flashing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this, we'll pick back up. All right, when it boots back up, you can load into the BIOS and you can see that the BIOS version is, again, what we're looking for, same way. I do wanna point out that, uh, you know, it's not obvious when the process is done when you use this method. Uh, basically, you just wanna make sure that the light stops flashing. Your computer will try to reboot. Um, and actually, if you have this USB drive plugged in, depending on how your boot order is set up, it may actually go back to a black screen with a solid underscore. Uh, that happened to me and I waited for a second and actually uh, all I had to do was uh, take out the USB stick and reboot the computer and everything worked fine. So, uh, you know, basically just make sure that the red light stops blinking and you and that your computer does try to reboot once. And then uh, as long as, you know, and, it, and again, it can take like five or six minutes for this to happen. And then uh, after that, just take the USB stick out and reboot just like normal. All right, hopefully that second solution helped you out if you're doing a new system build or that first solution helped you out if you're just trying to update your BIOS and you already have your system built. Either way, please drop a comment below letting us know which option that you use and what you have going on with your build. If you enjoy the video, please consider dropping a like and even subscribing to the channel if you got value out of the video today. And if you wanna see more videos on how to do stuff with your computer, how to get your gaming rig built, how to benchmark it, how to overclock it, whatever you wanna do. Drop a comment below if I didn't answer your question and I'll be sure to respond to it and maybe even make a video about your question at a later date. Thanks.